Hi, my name is Miguel Birch. I'm a Director of Minimally Invasive Surgery and Director of the Minimally Invasive Surgery and Bariatric Surgery Fellowship here at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. Today, we have a 74-year-old woman who presented to her primary care doctor with iron deficiency anemia. That anemia was worked up with an endoscopy, which found a small uh, ulcer, uh, which was biopsied. The biopsies came back uh, with uh, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma of the stomach intestinal type. She subsequently underwent an uh, endoscopic ultrasound. Endoscopic ultrasound revealed a T2 lesion with N0 disease. Um, and she, uh, uh, given her age and uh, comorbidity profile, has felt that she should uh, proceed to operation uh, instead of new adjuvant therapy. Interestingly, the patient in the last year actually had been treated for lymphoma um, uh, with uh, chemotherapy, so it was uh, yet more reason to avoid an operation on her or uh, new adjuvant therapy on her at this point. So the plan for the operation today is going to be a uh, um, diagnostic laparoscopy uh, followed by uh, uh, a distal gastrectomy. Uh, given, that, uh, given that she has a T2 disease, uh, we're planning on a D1 plus uh, uh, lymph node uh, dissection. As you know, D1 represents um, lymph node stations one through six. Um, in a distal gastrectomy, we usually don't do uh, 10 or two. Um, but for her, uh, we'll sort of base a little bit of it on uh, what we see in the operating room, i.e. if there's large bulky nodes, and we'll increase it to T1, uh, T1 plus. Um, T2 uh, is stations 1 through 6, and also 11P and 12A, um, which, we, uh, again, depending on the bulkiness of the nodes, uh, may, may change uh, the dissection that we do. Uh, the plan is for a... Um, uh, as I said, a distal gastrectomy followed by uh, Roux and Y reconstruction. Um, I really feel the Roux and Y is a probably superior reconstruction to a loop, uh, primarily because of reducing the um, incidence of uh, bile reflux gastritis. Emptying seems to be a little easier and it's a little uh, less worry about an afferent loop syndrome. So um, I have a great team in the operating room today, my fellow as well as a, a good PA student. So look forward to seeing what we find. So today we have this patient with an endoscopically proven T2 N0 uh, distal gastric cancer. Uh, I just scoped the patient and the lesion is somewhere in this region. Uh, I'd say this is the incisure right here. So the plan is going to be to do a distal gastrectomy with a modified D2 dissection. Really it's a 1 plus dissection uh, given the early nature of the cancer. I like to put the shortcars in to be able to visualize the dissections primarily around the duodenum, which is probably the most sort of difficult and critical dissection, as well as the left gastric, uh, the left gastroploic. So I like to have the optical trocar, usually about two hand breaths, which ends up being about 15 centimeters below the left costal margin here. Uh, so that'd be an entry uh, trocar. And then I uh, put two uh, trocars on the side here and two on the side here. The lower ones are always 12s. Uh, it gives us an option to staple and the upper ones are usually fives. Although we can do optical entry, I actually like doing a, a polymer's point entry for most of these cases. All right, we'll take CO2 on, please. And so the patient, uh, because of the early nature of her tumor, didn't have any neoadjuvant therapy, T2 N0. And it looks very much like a T2 on endoscopy, uh, although, of course, we had a preoperative endoscopy, that was uh, EOS, that showed that. She had a PET-CT, which showed some avidity in the distal stomach, but no other sites of metastasis, et cetera.